John Wozniewski, Energy Analyst in the Energy Planning and Trading Group. Uh, we're here today at Pangborn Airport, hoping the helicopter can make it through so we can load up uh, and get up to a few snow tail sites around Lake Chelan to take some uh, manual snow measurements on a snow, snow survey. And I'm Kelly Allen, I'm Chelan County PUD Commissioner, and I'm along for the ride. I'm super excited to see more about what our wonderful team does. This information is going to be used, I believe, John, to help us determine lake levels, when to lower, is that right? It's useful, right? We use it to build a water supply forecast and that helps inform some of our lake level management decisions. Correct, yeah. Awesome. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought in your presentation you said that we take this information and we use it not only for us locally, but but isn't there, we provide we, we it do, externally as well? We do, we share it with the NRCS, uh, a federal branch, and they use it to do some statewide water supply forecasting information as well, right? Yeah, it's so amazing to me what we do as a district, you know, how many fingers we have. It's phenomenal. So glad to be here. Thank you for bringing me along. Uh, happy to have you. Excited to get you up. And me too. I I'm hear it. The helicopter now, oh. so good, good news. that comes up here yes. and then the arm that sticks out mm -hmm. and then there's the other little metal metal towel not the one with the paddles on it but the two metal ones there the snow pillows between the two of them and the arm that sticks out that's the snow depth sensor that so the pillow the snow pillow is kind of right beneath it so just as we come this way we don't want to walk oh. over or near or disturb the snow okay. over the top of that pillow so we'll kind of come over to the base of this tower So we just landed here at Park Creek Ridge, right above the Stahican River down below us here uh, at a snow tail site. Um, so we can see over here is a, kind of an equipment tower uh, that has some information, uh, precip, uh, snow depth, other readings come off of this tower and an arm that comes out over the snow pillow. So there's a big pillow down beneath that gives us uh, some reads of, of uh, the, the weight of the snow is what we're really after, so the snow water equivalent. Um, so we, we've landed and we've come here with this uh, set of snow tubes to take some manual measurements to kind of ground truth those readings. Um, so we have the tube set pulled out here now uh, to kind of cool in the snow. And what we'll do is we'll come to what we call the four corners. We'll take four samples around that snow pillow. We'll, we'll drive this hollowed out set of tubes all the way down to the dirt uh, and get a snow depth reading. And then we'll pull it up and out and weigh the tubes with the snow of core, uh, core of snow in the middle of the tubes. Um, we'll get that weight and then we'll uh, empty the snow out and get a weight of the empty tube. And then we can do some subtraction and get just the weight of the snow. And that, that weight of the snow is what gives us the water content or the snow water equivalent um, at this site. So that's kind of what, what we're here, here doing now. Awesome, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So stand about where you were standing? Yep, you can stand right there. Okay. And then just drive it. And then right. 
Um, yeah, hold it up a little bit because you want to hold it. Um, oh, so it's top away from you. Okay, top away. Uh, top back towards you a little bit. Yeah, it looks like good side to side. Yep, yeah, good. There, you can drop it. Well, I don't see any snow outside, but I guess it would be 54. Yeah, okay, 54. Yep, 54. Uh, say like 49. Yeah. So it was right there on the end, perfect. So a zero, let's say zero for the plug one. It's right between 69 and 70. It's all coming back to me now. And we're like at 50. 5 0. 're here at, at Lyman Lake now we just finished up at Park, Park Creek Ridge uh, flew over to Lyman Lake which kind of sits up above Lucerne and, and Holden Village um, you can see here uh, at the snow tell site um, and getting ready to kind of do the same process here uh, sample with this hollowed set of tubes pull up snow get snow depth the weight of the snow and uh, get those measurements to, to ground ground truth the snow tell site Pangborn now just completed the snow survey, uh, flew up to Park Creek Ridge, then to Lyman Lake, and then over an aerial marker at Little Meadows. Um, I think we got some good samples. The team worked well. I uh, got the data we needed. I feel good about it all. It so. was amazing we were able to get out with the weather today. You know, we've been socked in, and we got to see a little of that, of that coming back as well. So. Yeah, a little squall came in, got a little snow falling on us at Lyman Lake, so made for some interesting conditions getting up and out, but uh, glad to be home. Yeah. We we're really glad to get out there. The um, information that we're, we're taking from those samples will help John and his team determine the lake level. A lot to be looking for with that. Yep, lots of different objectives we balance in, in managing the lake levels at Lake Chelan. Um, so this, this data is helpful for us this time of the year as we, we go into the, the winter and, and refill season in the spring.
such a fine balance, you know, looking ahead at Lake Chelan in particular because so many of the residents there are interested in the recreation piece, which means keeping the water high. And yet we also have our FERC licensing where we have to meet the needs of fish and wildlife. And of course, our, one of our big contributors is to the power around the whole valley. So a lot that you guys have at risk here with that whole assessment. Yes, very well said. Thank you. There's a lot of different objectives and a lot of different areas at the PUD and, and around us that are, that are impacted. So um, thank you. Yeah. yeah, And you know what was you mentioned, Nick, as we were flying around, or maybe it was you, John, like when you look at the vastness of our watershed and being able to be over that, we're just sampling at a couple of places. It's pretty amazing. And this gives, gives us an idea of the volume of snow we think is on the hill, but the timing of the runoff uh, is still very valuable, uh, variable. Um, so that's one thing in the springtime, um, kind of when that snow gets, gets warm enough for that snow to melt during the water, run into the lake, that's that's a variable that's a little bit more difficult to get a, to get a grasp on. We surely saw a lot of dry areas. Yeah. But it's early in the season, it is. There's still and time I'm told to March is often good. Yeah, still time to improve, so we're hopeful for a little better snowpack the rest of the, rest of the winter here. Yeah. What did we say earlier? <laughs> the good stewardship. We're looking at so many things. Yeah. We really want the quality of the lake. That's one of the big things that we the pieces um, that we're looking at as well as how do we give back through this process. So it might not seem so obvious that going up and doing a snow study or survey is about giving back to our community, but it really is because as John mentioned earlier, we're trying to balance a lot of pieces and we want to make sure that the recreation portion is hit as well as every other aspect that we have to touch.